Hi there and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at how you can enroll in a course and learn everything or just about everything for now because these things change. AI for Educators by Google. Really amazing, isn't it? So this is how you do it. Notice you can read a little bit about a generative AI for educators and this is how you get started by clicking on that. You can also read more about how the course uh, goes on. So let's go into enroll. Now notice um, you're in. Okay, you can accept cookies or not accept. And uh, you'll learn again about the course. You can also log in uh, with your Gmail account. Okay. Uh, but we're going to just go into Get Started and see what that entails. Well, it does entail logging in with your Google account. So let me do that. After you do that, notice uh, there's a pre-survey. Okay, and um, you can take a look at it. How often do you want? Do you use? So oh, I use it daily. And um, how confident are you in ability to use it? Very confident. And what is your current perception? So they're getting a lot of information here, which I think is important if they share it with the rest of us. So let's uh, fill it in. So after you complete it, notice you can view your response details. Uh, you explore the course overview. So let's... Uh, click on that and here it comes welcome and then um, notice uh, there's this ways to interact with AI language translation text to speech which is what I'm interested in but um, okay and then um, you begin okay these are some uh, scenarios that you go through and then uh, this is the course overview. There are five sections. There's the introduction. You click on that. You can view that. AI tools and responsible use. Strategies and effective results. And then bring AI into practice. Plan your next steps. So it is quite nice. And then you go on to investigate the potential of AI in your practice. So actually it's a self-paced uh, course that uh, you can go through. I think it's quite nice. Read an educator's uh, story and then learn how AI can create a newsletter, which is important. That's using Gemini. Notice there and check out the prompt. Check the prompt, explore the output and then um, tips as you get started setting up and notice here's a skill shop using gemini everything here is gemini locate materials to use in your course now if you haven't used gemini before it's quite nice um i prefer chat gpt and i've used them side by side and um and i thought that um gemini uh could be uh, better than ChatGPT with uh, ChatGPT 4.0, which is also free. And by the way, I use the advanced version of Gemini, so I expected a lot more. Let's look at the top here for topics. All right, grow with Google. Okay, Google for education. So you're getting a lot of information there about Google. So I think it's a self-promoting uh, course, uh, but let's continue. Understand AI in your world, in the world of education, inner workings, perception, types of machine learning. Now, this might be important for you as an educator to get an idea of what uh, machine learning is all about. Unsupervised learning, where we need teachers are very much needed because we don't want our students to be unsupervised, so to speak. Uh, they have their parents, but I think it's teachers who provide education at this level. But of course, parenting is very important. 
Is it AI, AI tools, non-AI tools to recognize perhaps the difference between the two, which is nice smartphone use and facial recognition. Then AI, it continues with discovering generative AI. It's uh, worth going through. Um, it's a uh, quick and you can practice uh, using Gemini as you go. I think this is great for beginners. I wouldn't recommend it for advanced users as um, I don't think that it's at that level. So for very beginners, for those of you that are just starting out with um, AI for instruction and learning, mostly probably if you're teaching young learners, it's for your benefit and less maybe for the students or the young learners, you don't want them to be using it, but maybe you will decide uh, to find different uses for AI for young learners. If you're interested in that, how to use AI with young learners where they're involved with AI, let me know, even though uh, it's not recommended. And in fact, it's uh, prohibited in some schools and uh, some AI tools also do not recommend using it before the age of 13, in some cases 16, and some 18. So it's mostly for adults and not for young learners. So that's more or less uh, the course. And I wanted just to give you a little bit of uh, taste of what it's like. There's also research and review, which is important, and how to write an AI prompt. Of course, uh, using Google, Gemini, that's uh, what the focus is on here. But I think it's uh, worthwhile going through that just to get the feel of uh, writing prompts. And of course, there's a sample lesson, which is nice how to write a prompt for lessons using uh, Gemini, or you can try it on ChatGPT 4.0, which is completely free. And there are lots of GPTs, but I'm talking about this right now. Uh, maybe Google will come up with uh, a few of those as well. And um, I think uh, make it stick, and then write your own prompt and evaluate. I think evaluation is very important. I'm glad they mentioned it. So you may just want to jump to the prompt because I think Google has um, amazing lessons and courses on prompts. Also some resources. And then it goes on to your workplace organize output. I think this part is uh, relevant and important. So you might, as I said, just jump to the prompt and you can do that by going into uh, the topics. And they are on the left and you can see what's here. On the left, I think they took this from Moodle uh, course index because it looks uh, the same. So. How to write a prompt, you click on that and then it'll take you, you'll see it in the center. So yes, uh, this is the way it works on Moodle. So enjoy, let me know what you think of it in the comments box below. And of course, always enjoy whatever you're learning because that's what it's all about. No need to get frustrated. But if you do, let me know. I've got some tips on that as well. So have a great day and try things out. That's always a good way to go.